Hi, this is Rick. I'm a social worker and um, addictions and uh, trauma therapist. And today I want to talk about something that people have a difficult time with, and that is acceptance. Uh, it's something many people struggle with because it requires us to let go of the past and embrace the present. In particular, accepting the feeling that things don't always go the way we want them to can be incredibly challenging. So let's dive it in, dive into it. How can we let go and accept more? So first and foremost, we need to work on acknowledging our feelings, uh, when I, especially when I'm talking about the realm of substance abuse and trauma, because substance abuse a lot of times is derived from, derived from trauma, and we when when we're when we're dealing with trauma, we're often trying times trying to avoid the emotions that go with that because those emotions are incredibly uncomfortable. And so substances uh, or gambling or sex or shopping or whatever kind of addiction you might have or coping negative coping skill that you attained uh, is oftentimes avoiding the emotions that go with that. So first and foremost, we need to learn to acknowledge and honor those feelings. And name the feelings. It's okay to feel hurt and angry or disappointed when someone wrongs you. I think a lot of times when we're growing up, our parents say things like, uh, don't cry and I'll give you something to cry about and stuff like that, making us feel like it's wrong for us to feel emotion. Uh, in fact, we do not heal unless we feel emotions. So you have to not only accept the world and the situation, but you have to accept the emotions that go with it. So give yourself permission to experience those emotions fully by recognizing or accepting your emotions. You can begin to work through the emotions. Gotta let them t uh, take, you know, run their run their course. And number two, we gotta learn to understand the nature of control. One of the biz biggest obstacles to accepting is our desire to control everything, including the actions and behaviors of others. But the truth is we can't control how people treat us or what happens in the world, no matter how much we want to dwell on and, fu and fume on it and wish that things were different and change p other people. We can't get inside people and um, start controlling them. We have to only control ourselves. So realizing that some things are simply beyond our control is a vital, <coughs> excuse me, vital step towards acceptance. Focusing on what you can control, your own reactions and choices. Keep your side of the road clean. Next, we need to talk about shifting our perspective. Try shifting your perspective by considering the situation from different angles. Ask yourself, is holding on to this resentment or grudge serving me in any way? Generally, no. It weighs us down. It's making us suffer. And here's the thing. Either way, you're going to suffer, but you might as well suffer while healing. So by choosing to let go, you can create space for positive energy and personal growth. Now, let's talk about practicing forgiveness. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or condoning the wrong wrongs done to you. It's a con conscious choice to release the anger and resentment within ourselves. Remember that forgiveness is for your benefit, not for the person who wronged you. You're not forgiving for them. You're forgiving for yourself. So by forgiving, you're freeing yourself from the burden of carrying negative negativity and allowing healing to take place. Next, uh, I'm sure I got a lot of perfectionists out there. We need to work on embracing imperfections. Accepting requires us to embrace the imperfections of life and acknowledging that the world is not always going to meet our expectations and we are not going to meet our own expectations a lot of times. It's great that you have high expectations, but sometimes we're going to F up. Sometimes we're going to screw up. Understand that people make mistakes, situations change, and life can be unpredictable. By embracing imperfection, we open ourselves up to greater to a greater sense of peace and fulfillment. And finally, let's cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool for acceptance. 
Take time each day to reflect on things that you're grateful for, even amidst challenging circumstances. By focusing on positive aspects of your life, you shift your attention away from what you didn't that what didn't go according to plan and towards the blessings that surround you. I also want to talk about judgments. Judgments create feelings within us, especially intense feelings when we judge too much, when we judge things by hating things. We need to get to that it is what it is kind of mentality. Um, let it, it be non judgmental. And as you are trying to be non judgmental, don't judge your judging. Uh, acceptance is a journey that requires patience and self reflection and also a willingness to let go. Patience, self reflection, and willingness. Remember that holding on to past grievances can cling and clinging to unrealistic expectation only keeps us stuck in a cycle of frustration and unhappiness. By participating in acceptance, we empower ourselves to live in the present, embrace perf imperfections, and find peace within. So let's choose acceptance and open ourselves up to a world of greater possibilities. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel for more inspirational content. And as always, I love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and embrace acceptance.